this is the sub hangar where you'd normally only have subs and lots of kit and scuba gear being set up but tonight it's the US premiere of Blue Planet 2 so it's all being set up a little bit crazy come with me though let's have a look at the subs there are two subs on the Aleutia this one is Deep Rover 2 and the one over here is called Nadia they go down to a thousand meters they're amazing amazing what I want to do is take you into mission control Hey Victor. Hello. Nice to see you. Hi. So this is Mission Control. What goes on here? This is the central point of all scientific data acquisition, processing and distribution. Which means every scientific instrument on board ship sends its data to this area. Besides the information uh, from the scientific equipment, we have 36 cameras on board. There's a telephone, underwater telephone. There's Sina, which is an extremely precise GPS system. You know, GPS you have in your, f in your phone even. No. Mm. Now that one is like a thousand times more precise than your phone. Because we need to know exactly where we are. So tell me a little bit about the inputs. Where do you get those, the, those data inputs from? Basically, what you see here on the screen is something that we measure 24-7. That is humidity, temperature of the air, temperature of the sea, salinity, floor in the water. We use systems that need this information to actually work. Let's say a Rezone system, which is multi-beam ocean floor mapping like the a sonar first, system sonar system only imagine you sonar is using just one beam right it sends down or horizontally it measures the distance and come back that's it imagine you have 515 sonars Oof. sending beams down to the bottom and come back as the boat moves we take more and more and more uh, of this data and this can be graphically represented as mm -hmm. what the bottom looks like underneath in order for this device to work properly, you need to know the velocity of sound in the water, which changes if the temperature the is different, as the well. salinity yeah, is different, yeah. and so on. This is why we need this. Oh, I see. So one thing leads to another. We can't operate Reason unless we have this accurate. This is a proper geek's dream. This is the best job in the world. It is, for isn't a geek. it? Thank you, for, thank you for showing me them. This is, I love this room. This is yeah. so good. Right, I'm going to leave you to it. Thank and you can push much. on with my tour, but um, absolute pleasure. Thank you. Okay. This is the heli deck, because sometimes on the Alusia you have a helicopter coming on. Quite often the missions take weeks and weeks, often months, and you can use the heli to get people on and off, and sometimes for scouting as well. Um, come up here, come to the end. This is the giant A-frame you can see. So the A-frame would be used to pick up the submersible to carry it out over the water and then carefully lower it down where it's then unattached by the swimmer. Very, very cool kit. Anyway, next stop is the bridge. Oh, I think we'll ignore that sign there. You must be Captain Pete. Yeah, hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So uh, that's a lot of knobs and dials. <laughs> yeah, we've got uh, lots of ties on board on the ship. Right here, this is where we drive the ship from. We've got our ship's wheel. That's a very small wheel. Small wheel, a little bit underwhelming, I know, but you know, great things can be done with small items. We also have our engine controls. Mm -hmm. On Alusha, we have two main engines uh, that drive two propellers. And we also have a 360 degree jet bow thruster. Basically, it's a jet on the front of the ship, and we can direct it forward, back, it powers the ship left or right or actually ahead as well. That's a really nice idea because that gives you much finer control. It, exactly. We don't use it all the time, so that's in when we're coming alongside, going in and out of port, and also when we're doing our submarine pickups and, and drop-offs. It gives us the fine control that we need uh, to drop the ship, uh, the subs in exactly the right place. This looks uh, like a relic from the past. Is it, it still is, usable? Uh, it's still usable. It's our magnetic compass. So uh, if all else fails, uh, we can still make our way home. What's your favourite element of all of that? I love driving the ship. Uh, that's, that, that's my main pr pleasure. I can kind of zone out and that's where I get my re relaxation when I'm operating the ship. I would not find that relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it for a while now. I, uh, I've been at sea almost 30 years now. Most of it's spent on cruise ships. I came to Alusha four years ago. It's uh, a unique experience and a unique, sh a unique ship, and we do amazing things. So it's a very exciting ship to be part of. Hey 
There's a crew of about 20 to 24 on the Aleutia. Their quarters are down below, but you also get scientists and media guests, and these are their quarters. Very, very nice. Can sleep 16. And then there's a place up top where everyone can hang out together. That's the sun deck. Oh, well, this is supposed to be called the sun deck. Not great weather in Florida at the moment. So this is the mast that has all the meteorological detection equipment. It's got the satellites, it's got the GPS that can give the accuracy of the ship to that sort of scale, which is just incredible. This boat, the Aleutia, it's just wonderful because it combines cutting edge science with the latest tech and engineering, but also media, the communication of, of all of that. I'm not going to go and do my Titanic impression because it'd be rude not to. It's a bit lonely doing it by yourself, isn't it? <laughs> Idiot. It's not cheesy.